What's up, players? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I am here with me, Mejor Hermano. That's my best friend. My, my, my best brother? Yeah. Anyway, we're on a roof and we're doing a workout today. Hope you had a great holiday. <laughs> we had a great holiday, guys. Hope you ate all the turkey and uh, egg yeah. dog. Yeah, and I'll take the leftovers and get them the hell out of your house or the Zen dudes are gonna come and do it. Seriously, take them out. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit anxious for this workout because I'm definitely gonna be dead afterward. It's a lot of legs. Luckily here, I got my man. B. Epstein coached me through, so I'll be fine. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up below and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you just wanna live an epic life by learning how to jump rope and have more fun with your fitness. This is the first four weeks of the Getting Lean course, but we got two additional months of Getting Lean workouts, mm. plus nutrition information, mm. plus lifestyle information, plus daily access to Brandon and I, so if you wanna do that, check that out. That is in the course, uh, that's in the description. The course is in the description. If you want the best, jump rope in the entire world click the link below down there or up there here it is the cross rope it's the only one we use it's very durable best out there in the market get yourself one today to start becoming a jump rope ninja zendu fitness okay wow dude i have so much energy today let's uh let's work out jumping jacks ready begin as you can see here daniel sun is a karate kid, and that's why he's so good at doing jumping jacks. <laughs> Not for real, folks. Jumping jacks are really just used to warm up your body. We want to lubricate your joints before we start doing this high intensity workout. Dan's gonna now move into the air squats. You can see here, most of his, his weight is back on his heels. The reason he's doing so is because he's trying to activate those hamstrings, quads, and glutes. And of course, protect his knees as he's jutting them out. Moving into the front lunges now. If you've watched his workouts, you've probably seen this before, but if you haven't, check out how Dan is bringing his knee over his ankle. Again, a lot of the, the form that we talk about here is just to protect your joints, is to make sure you can do exercise for your whole life and be healthy. So try to master that form. And finally, push-ups again, bringing those elbows just slightly internally rotated so you can protect your rotator cuffs. And we just pumping out 10 of these bad boys. Da, 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 da. Why don't you do some more jumping jacks, why don't you? Excellent form. You guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Let's all just thank God or the universe or your parents, wherever you believe in, for being <laughs> able to... <laughs> I'm just trying to cover all my bases here. Yeah, dude, I feel you. Now let's just be Very grateful for... Uh, the ability to move our bodies today because there's a lot of people who don't have the health to do this workout. And uh, I know we're grateful and we want to pass that along to you. Gratitude is one of the best ways to live a happy freaking life because you can't be anxious or stressed and, grat and grateful at the same time. You thought this was a workout. This is actually a personal development session. Tony Robbins, come on in here. Tony Robbins is going to coach dance the rest of the Tony, to he didn't make it. Flight got canceled. Tony's not gonna make this workout, maybe next one. All right, Dan's gonna finish off some front lunges here and then he's got himself yeah, no, yeah. some push-ups and then we're gonna get into the workout. God, I can't believe Tony bailed on us. I mean, I get it's Christmas Eve, but where else would you wanna be than with the Zen dudes on Christmas Eve? And the workout has officially begun, ladies and gentlemen. Dan is starting off, and you're starting off with back lunges. So, as you can see here, Dan is just bringing his knee back and trying to create a 90 degree angle between his hamstring and his calf. And so you'll notice, 90 degree angle is something that's gonna come into almost every exercise we do. Like when you come down in the squat, when you're doing a lunge, when you're doing push-ups, we're trying to create those 90 degree angles with our joints. Here we go, 30 seconds of front lunges now. Got lost, I was just talking about joints and things in the last, last exercise, I lost myself. So, Dan, you've got 15 seconds, you've got 14 seconds. Here we go. 10 more seconds. 
And again here, with these exercises, we want to really emphasize good form. So don't kill yourself, just focus on good form. And trust me, you will be killing yourself by the end. Next exercise, we got jumping lunges, folks. And you want to do exactly what Dan is doing. He's using his arms to propel himself upwards. And he is pushing up through his heel and the ball of his foot, the front heel and the back ball of his foot. And he's just rotating legs back and forth. 10 more seconds. Beautiful, Dan. You two, you're doing a great job. We're proud of you. Three, two, one. Time. Jump rope, feet front to back. Jen, you can even move here into center stage in front of the people at home. Yeah. 20 seconds remaining in this exercise. Now you're probably starting to breathe a little heavily and you're starting to feel that Ah, shoot, this workout's gonna be hard. But guess what? Anything worth doing is gonna be difficult, so push through here. Five more seconds. I don't know if that's true, anything worth doing is, is difficult. We can take a break in between circuits. Here we go, back lunges, 20 more seconds. Is it helpful to have me standing here coaching you through this, coaching Dan through it? Let us know in the comments below, because obviously you see some of our workouts, we don't do this, and some we do. Dan, you got about five more seconds, you do too. So let us know in the comments if you want me coaching you here. One time. Back at it, front lunges. Again, keep that core tight, really focus on form here. Go as fast as you can while keeping that form as on point as you can. And lucky for you, you got, a, you got Dan right here. He's doing the perfect form, so if you can replicate what he's doing, you'll be in great shape. And you got 10 more seconds left, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Jumping lunges, baby. Right back at it. Right back at it. This is definitely the most difficult exercise of the circuit, but it's at the end of each circuit, okay? So after this exercise, you just have one more jump rope exercise, and you get yourself a little break. 10 more seconds. Beautiful, you guys. And pause when you need to to keep your form on point. Jump rope, feet front to back. This is the final exercise of this first circuit. So go ahead and give yourself a little congratulatory go, go me. And let's finish this circuit strong here. Let's go. 15 seconds. This is your way to burn out. We're burning out. You get a whole minute rest after this. So finish strong. Five, four, three, two, one.
bucket number two, or dose. And that's the extent of my languages that I know. So we're doing the uh, back lunges here. Nothing changes, guys. Same thing as the first circuit. I'm not gonna repeat myself over and over again about the form. You heard it the first time around. Just try to keep your core tight, keep good posture, and really give this workout everything you have. Front lunges, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. Another beautiful day in paradise. Halfway home, 15 more seconds. 10 seconds. Two, one, time. Jumping lunges. So Dan pointed out to me, a great way to go about these is by trying to do 10 total, taking a little rest, shaking your legs out, and getting right back into it. So the reason being is like, when we're training our legs this intensely, we are really working the muscles here. And it's more so than just the calories burned. We really wanna make sure we're keeping that good forward so we can train the muscles like we want to. Here we go, Dan, that's it, time. Jump rope, feet front to back. Let's go, let's go. Oh yeah, Dan's starting to shimmer. Doing a little shimmering. It's a good sign, means he's a healthy boy. 10 more seconds remaining. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, fam. Let's finish strong in these back lunges. We're in the second half of this circuit here. Finish strong. Strong and hard. Strong and hard. 10 seconds remaining. Again, guys, it's all about form, not going fast for these, okay? Make sure to maintain your form. You hear that, my mic? All right, fam, we're going. Shouldn't we be doing jumping lunges? That was back. All right, so you guys, we want to just point out again, the point of doing these exercises when we're really hitting the muscles hard is to keep good form and make sure that we're working the muscle as we want to. So don't go as fast as you can because that is going to end up messing up your form. Keep it controlled and go as fast as you can as you're controlled. Here we go, we got jumping lunges here. Here we go, halfway home. Just 15 seconds remaining. And so again, remember, you can split these up into 10 jumping lunges, take a little break and get right back into it. Five seconds. Three, two, one, time. Here we go fam, last exercise of this circuit. Let's go, jump rope feet front to back. And here, of course, we're always talking about form, but we really want you to burn out with this exercise, so go as fast as you can while keeping that back straight, while keeping everything nice, tight, and compact. 10 seconds remaining. 
five, four, three, two, one. circuit here if you are in beginner jump roper or exerciser this is gonna be your final circuit right if you're someone who's intermediate we're gonna try to ask you to push for one more if you're advanced try to get all five in here so depending on where you are this might be your last circuit so let's push five seconds remaining Right back into it. <clears throat> you guys, I, uh, if you haven't done one of these workouts before, I would uh, try to arrange for a wheelchair tomorrow because uh, your legs are gonna be pretty dead. Just saying, but there's something beautiful about being really sore. You just know that you put that work in. Is there? I mean, I, I like it because I'm like, yo, I put that work in yesterday. Five seconds remaining. One, time. Jumping lunges, guys. We understand third circuit here. Your legs are already gonna be pretty gassed. So try to get the best you can. 10 of these jumping lunges, take a little rest, get back into it. Do as many as you can in this 30 second increment of time we've allotted for this exercise. Just five more seconds remaining. Come on, you can push through here. One time. Jump rope, feet front to back. After this exercise, you're halfway home in this circuit, so finish strong. Let's get right through this, come on. Keep the tempo up. It's gonna hurt, it's unavoidable. So you might as well just go as hard as you can and just get into this present moment and understand that like everything else in life, this is gonna be over eventually. Everything ends, three seconds left. And back at it with the legs again, back lunges. So what I was saying in the last circuit, last exercise was something that helps me get through these workouts is understanding that like there is an end time to it, right? This could only go 30 minutes if you're gonna do five circuits and then it's over and then you're done for the day and you can move on to do whatever you wanna do. So get this out of the way and just be present, be intentional while you're here. You got five more seconds. One time. Here we go, we gotta sell some front lunges here. Now as you get tired, you guys, slow down if you need to. The most important thing is form. Because if your form gets messed up, you could risk injury, and you could just not be exercising for an extended period of time. So watch Dan here, and watch how he maintains the integrity through each stride that he takes. Five seconds remaining. One time. Oh. 
This is the last leg exercise of this circuit here. The jumping lunges. Finish strong. Dig down deep. See what's in that heart of yours. Here we go. 15 seconds remaining. Give it everything you've got here. Five, four, three, two, one. Last exercise of the circuit. Let's roll. Let's roll. Come on. Give it everything you have. Spinning that rope as fast as you can. Shuffling those feet on the balls of the feet. Back and forth, back and forth. Come on. 15 seconds more. 10 seconds. We know you're gassed. We know you're tired. Push through here. Dane is too, and you can see him pushing himself. Four, three, two, one. Time. Circuit. If you're still around here at this point, yo, mad dash, virtual high five. This is where things get intense. And we got mad respect for all the people who are making it through this fourth circuit. So let's go. 15 seconds left on these back lunges. Again, integrity with form is everything, guys. Because really, it may just be your body weight, but you are working these muscles hard right now. Time. Front lunges. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. Pushing up through that heel as you come up, guys. I know you're gonna probably start to feel really wobbly at this point, but try to maintain that integrity by pushing through your heel as you come up. You got three more seconds. Jumping lunges, same deal. Try to knock out 10 of these, take a short little rest, get right back into it. Beautiful fam, we got 15 more seconds left in this exercise. Five seconds remaining. Two, one, time. Jump rope, feet front to back. This is really where that, that endurance comes in. Those other exercises are really gonna work your muscles. This is just to continually keep your heart rate up, help you burn some extra calories, and kind of let the blood flow move throughout your body in the middle of this circuit here. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, time. All right, we are halfway done with this fourth circuit here, you guys. Dig down deep, and let's finish with everything you have. 
I know that tank's running on empty, but you gotta push it out. We gotta coast through to the end of this circuit. Come on. 10 more seconds. Will yourself to finish it. Five seconds. Come on. One time. Here we go, front lunges. Pushing up through that heel. Exploding up through that heel, engaging that glute, that buttocks muscle. 15 seconds, halfway done with this exercise. You see what Dan's doing here as he's keeping his back completely straight through each one of these lunges? We really want you to do the same. Three more seconds. Two, one. Jumping lunges, nothing changes. Come on, it's your last jumping lunges of this circuit. Second to last exercise, come on. Fifteen seconds remaining. Get your wind. Let your legs go. Let it go, let it go, come on. Three, two, one, time. This is the final exercise of this circuit. Jump rope, feet front to back. Keep your shoulders tight, keep your arms stable. We don't want you moving your arms around a ton here. Focus on keeping everything compact and shuffling those feet back and forth here. Let the rope do the work. 10 seconds remaining. By the way, you want this rope? Link in the description for you. It's the best. Two, one, time. Here in the fifth circuit, man, congratulations, you're awesome. Because Dan will tell you from first time experience and I will too from other workouts. Once you get to the fifth circuit, like you have to dig down deep to move through these 15 seconds remaining as I talk to you. And so, congratulations, and way to push yourself if this is like one of your first few times doing a fifth circuit. Five more seconds, back lunges, let's finish strong. Time. Just seven more exercises, you're done for the day. You can go eat a bowl of ice cream with cookies and brownies and yeah, whatever you want. As long as it fits your calorie and macronutrient budget for the day. If you don't know what we're talking about, get in Lean Course, link in the description. Here we go, five more seconds. One time. Jumping lunges. And even on this fifth circuit here, we want you to do the same strategy. Do 10 with awesome form. Take a little break and see how many more you can get in within this 30 second circuit. 30 second interval. 
Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Here we go, finish strong. After you finish this exercise, you are halfway done with this final circuit. But get present, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Focus on every skip of the rope here. Don't let your mind go anywhere else except for every rotation of this rope. Live in the present moment. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. Halfway done with the final circuit. This is it, guys. You don't need to do any more than this. Five circuits is a more than sufficient high intensity workout. And these legs of yours, they're gonna be wobbly at this point. You've done everything you need to do to feel great about yourself. So let's finish with the integrity and your form and the strength of your mind and your heart. Five more seconds. Two, one, time. Front lunges. So, I've talked a lot about integrity in this workout, and what do I mean by that? It means basically just like seeing Dan in the form and knowing what form that you should be using and having the integrity to actually fall through and do the good form instead of taking the easy way out, the shortcut, and letting your form break down. Eight seconds remaining. And the only person that really is gonna judge you is you, so be your own coach. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Jump the lunges. Get those first ten. Take a break. Finish strong. Here we go. Ten seconds remaining. Five, four, three, two, one. Final exercise, jump rope, feet front to back. Everything you have here, finish it. Finish it the way you started it, come on. 15 more seconds. You got 10 seconds of exercise left for your entire day, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. 